show you this. We call these symbols quick tins. Okay. Have you ever seen, don't worry about it, have you ever seen these little blocks before? Yeah, you have? Nice. These are called place value blocks. Place value blocks help us count lots of numbers. If you look right here, I've got in my hands some, and I'll hold it up right here too so that they can see. In my hands, I have these little cubes. Each cube is worth one, okay? Do you see this stick? In this stick, I have 10 of these little cubes can fit into this one stick. So whenever I hold up this, this is equal to one. And when I hold up this, you know what this is equal to? 10. Ten. So if I were, okay. So if I were to hold up three of these little squares, this number would be three. What about something like this? If I held up two of these sticks, would this be two? No. What would it be? 20. 20. It would be 20. If I added another 10, what would it be? 30. 30. Good job. We'll talk about more about these place value blocks another day. But right now, I want to show you how to do that on paper, on the board. When I write this big skinny stick, that's the same as doing a 10. And when I draw a dot, it's the same as one of these cubes. I call this my quick 10. So if I were to count this number, would I count it like this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight. Nine. No, because is this one? No. no. What is this? You say it? It's 10. So I would do it like this. 10, and then look. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So this number is the same as 17. Here we go. 17. What's the say 10 way? The say 10 way would be how many tens? We would do 1, 10, 7. I'll say it and then you say it. 1, 10, 7. 1, 10, 7. Because there's 1, 10. And then seven ones. Okay? And then my addition sentence would be like one plus seven. That's what we just did. What about this number? Would this number be one, two, three, four? Is this four? No, because what are these? These are tens. So first I need to count by tens. Okay? And do ten, twenty. And then I'm doing twenty, one, twenty. So this number is 22. Can you say it the same 10 way? How many 10s do I have? 10, 20, 20. How many 10s do I have? Two. two 10s. I don't have one 10 this time. This time I have two 10s and then I just have the number 2. So I'll say it and then you say it. 2, 10, 2. two, two. Because there's two 10s and then there's the number 2. The addition sentence. What would the addition sentence look like for this? How many tens plus how many ones? Can you raise your hand if you got it? Eight of them. You're right. So I could just say 20 plus 2. 20 plus 2 equals 22. You got it. What would this number be? Now look, I didn't say this earlier, but you see how there's this gap in between these dots and these dots? Y'all see that? Y'all notice that gap? Yeah. Yeah, there's like a gap. See, I can't fit this right here, but I can fit it right here. That gap is there because it's easier for our brains to notice that these are five, and then I've got a break for my next step. So when we do our ones, sometimes they give like a little gap or a break in between the numbers so that we can see it quickly. So like when I look at this, I don't have to count one, two, three, four, five. I can say five in my head and then skip to the rest. So already I see that I've got five, six, seven, eight, and then I've got some tens. What number is being represented with my quick tens, Anna? 30. 30 what? 38. 38. Can you say it the say 10 way? Say it by yourself. 
Throws it dirty. Say it the, do it the Satan way. Three tens. Eight. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Let's try it together. I'll say it, then you say it. Three tens eight. Three tens eight. That's the say ten way. The addition sentence would be what? Thirty plus what, Peyton? Eight. Thirty plus eight equals thirty-eight. Next. Whoa, I'm getting a lot of tens. Brantley, can you tell how many tens I have? And look in, I've got this space, because it's trying to tell me that this is a group of fives. So one, two, three, four, five. Can you tell how many tens I have in all? Six. So what's the whole number? Can you tell from there? Sixty. What number did you say? Sixty-four. You're right. So this whole number is sixty-four. Can you say it the say ten way? You do it. You got it. Six tens four. You do it. Six tens four. Six ten four. And then the addition sentence would be what, Anna? 60 plus 60 plus 4 is 64. Good job. Oh, my goodness, look how many we have. This is a lot of lines and a lot of dots. Let me count them. Oh, no, it already revealed it. Now y'all know. I've got nine tens and nine ones. So you already know it's 90. Nine. What would be the say ten way for ninety nine? Nine nine Good job. Nine, One more time. Nine ten nine. Good job. What would the addition sentence look like, Micah? Ninety nine. Hold on. Let, let, let Micah do it. Ninety plus ninety plus nine is ninety nine. Good job. Let's try doing our Satan way one more time. And we'll, this time we'll try it with the um, saying our um, 110. Because sometimes you can either say 10 or you can just say 110. Say this number the regular way. You can say it. The regular way. Just normal way. 11. Now do it the say 10 way. 110. 1. Try it again. Say this number. Uh -oh. Good job. Say this number the regular way. Fifteen. Do it the say ten way. One, ten, five. Okay? What about this number, regular way? Nineteen. Do it the say ten way. Good job. One, ten, nine. All right, so let's try it this way. If I say, let's do this. If I say... Two tens eight, you say twenty plus eight is twenty-eight. Okay? We're just getting used to doing the say ten way. Two tens is the same as twenty. Two tens twenty plus eight is twenty-eight. Okay? So if I say Five tens three, you say fifty plus three. You do this one. If I say three tens six, you say you say thirty plus six. Let's do it louder one more time. If I say three tens six, you say thirty six. Let's say thirty plus six, but you're right, it is thirty six. What about this? Ten nines or one ten nine. What would that be? Zero nine. Not zero nine. Ten nine. Ten plus nine. It's nineteen. What about this number? Five tens eight. You say it. Five tens eight. Right. So what would be the addition sentence? Fifty plus eight is fifty-eight. Good job. What about this? 77? That would be 70 plus 7? Equals 77. Yep. What would 90 tens be? Excuse me. What would 9 tens be, Anna? 90. 90. Just plain old 90. It wouldn't be 95 or 90 
52 because it's, I don't have any ones. It would just be nine tenths. Okay. Let's go back to our 10 frames that we talked about earlier. Y'all got really good at doing the say 10 way. But we'll do a little bit more practice tomorrow too. I want you to look back at our um, 10 frames. It's asking again what eight needs to make 10. And we just did this, so we already know. What does eight need to make 10, Peyton? Two. Two. Eight needs two to make 10. Eight and two make 10. Now look at this. 28. Right now I'm at 28. Do you know what the next 10 would be if I kept going? So 20, what 10 comes after 20, Anna? 30. 28, look what I have here. Two blanks. What would 28 need to make the next 10? Now you just told me that this eight needed two. So what does 28 need to make the next 10, Peyton? Um, it needs 10. It needs 2. If I have 2 more, 28 plus 2, what would that be? 28 plus 2. Micah, do you know? What would the next 10 be? What 10 comes after 2? 29. Yeah, 29, and then what? 28, 29, 30. 30. So just like 8 needs 2 to make 10, 28 needs 2 to make the next 10. And I'll write this one down. 28 needs 2 to make the next 10. So whenever I say the next 10, I'm talking about a number that goes up the next 10 with a zero in that place. So 28, the next 10 would be 30. Look at this one. What does 58 need to make its next 10? So let's get gorgeous. Two. It still needs two. I still have two blanks. But what would that next ten be? So 58 needs two to make the next ten. Any Let's try these. Now remember, these can be very tricky. Now you have your number bond sheet. So if you need to use your number bond sheet, you can. Okay? In fact, I'll write, let's see if this is in frame. Yeah, it is. I'll do one on the side just to keep up with what I've got so far. So I've got 10 minus 3. If I have a subtraction problem, I am starting with my total. The first number in this subtraction problem is always my total. So I'm going to put that here. 10 is my total. One of my parts is 3. So I need to figure out what 3 needs what three needs to become 10? Let me just take this one on the other page. Peyton, what does three need to be 10? plus what is 10? I'll give you another minute to just figure it out if you haven't already. London, have you solved it yet? What does 3 need to be 10? Or 10 minus 3? You got it? 
What is it? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. What? Eleven. His eight. Eight. His three plus eight equal ten. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. eleven. Eight plus three equals eleven. I'm looking for what will equal ten. Six. Oh. Four. Just you figure it out. What? Seven. Seven. Remember, seven and three are friends to ten. Oh. Plus seven is ten. So ten minus three is two. Ten. Ten. Not two. Ten. Ten minus three is seven. Okay? Let's do this one. Now if I go too fast on something like this, you know what's really easy to do? Is to see five plus ten and think, oh, fifteen. But that is not what it's saying. Look closely. This might be a good time to bring out my number bond. My total is 10 because it's an addition problem and here's my answer. So my total is 10. One of my parts is 5. So it's asking, what does 5 need to become 10? Peyton? 5. Good job. If you go too fast, it's easy to say, oh, 5. Plus 10, oh, 15. But look at what it's actually saying. Does 15 plus 5 yeah. equal 10? Yeah. That messes up the whole problem. No, it's 5 plus 5. And so that's when the number bond might help you. Because if you see I'm missing a part, anytime I am missing a part like this, it's actually a subtraction problem. Miss Wilson, mm -hmm. that came up in my head first. That's awesome. Look at this uh, bottom one for number 11. Mm -hmm. It says something minus 2 equals 4. I think I want to do a number bond to help me figure this out. Yeah. Do you remember what the first number in a subtraction problem, where that goes on the number bond? Yeah. Where does it go? Up. At the top. So I don't know that number yet. Okay? I do know my two parts. What are my parts? Two and four. Two is a part and four is a part. So how can I figure out what my first number or my total is? What is it, Gorgeous? Two. Two. That's one of my parts. So look, one of my parts is two, one of my parts is four. How can we figure out my total? You remember the number, the little symbol I keep writing in between the two parts? If oh. I ever, oh. I know. I can always add my two parts together to get the total. So two plus four is what? Let me say it aloud. Five. Two oh, plus yeah. four. Mm -hmm. Two plus four is six. Okay. Let's see if that. Away two. Do I get four? Yeah. Yes. Six minus Ooh. two equals four. This is when the number bond can help me. Okay? Six minus two equals four. Eight. Here's another subtraction one. Remember, the first number in a subtraction problem is always what part? My whole or my parts? The parts. The first number in a subtraction problem is always what? First number. Right. Whole. It's always what? The whole. It's always the whole. You know you so nine minus something equals six. So where are we gonna put the nine? Where should I put my nine? I was just about to ask you the same thing. Uh huh. On top. top. Because that's my total, my whole. Oh, okay. And I'm missing one of my parts, oh. but then my other part is what? Well, yeah, but it's six. And then here I got the answer, which is something plus six will equal. 
equal 9. And y'all remember last week we talked about we can even count up to see how many 6 needs to make 9. We can count up from one of my parts and then stop when I get the total. So 6, 7, 8, 9. Does 6, excuse me, does 6 plus 3 equal 9? No. Try it. I'm hearing you say no. Try it. Try in your head. 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. Is 6 plus 3 equal 9? Yeah. Yeah. So is my missing part 3? Yeah. yeah. You can try that too. 9 minus 3. Am I left with 6? Yes. Then that's my right answer. Let's try some with the uh, say 10 way. All right. 10 and 5 is what? This is like the say 10 way. Anna? We're just giving the normal number. 15. See? 1, 10 and 1, 5. Next, I've got 19. 19 is how many 10s and how many 1s? Aiden, how many 10s do you see in 19? One ten. So I'm going to say one ten. And how many ones? Nine. Nine. You see when it's stretched out, it almost looks like nineteen. One ten, nine ones. Look at this one. I've got a ten, and then I've got six. Gorgeous. What would this be together? Sixteen. Sixteen. One ten. One six. 14 is, and then I've got a blank and 10. What should go right here? Micah? 10. 14 is 10 and 4. 10 and 4 make 14. Here's what I have next. If the number bonds help you with this one, you can use your number bonds. 79 equals something. Plus nine. So look, it looks like my ones is already there. I know I have nine ones, but what am I missing? I'm missing my tens. So, how many tens is in 79? London? Mm -hmm. So, 70 plus nine equals 79. 79 equals 70 plus 9. Go ahead and write that on your iPad if you haven't already. Next, 64 is blank plus 4. Peyton, what am I putting in the blank? All right. I already have the 4. What do I need now? The 6. Right. Am I just putting the 6? No, because 6 plus 4 is not 64. What is this 6 here? Is it 6 ones or is it 6 tens? It's 6 tens. So how do I write 6 tens? A 1 in front of it. 1 behind it. Mm -mm, a 0 behind it, like this. 60. 64 is the same as 60 plus 4. Uh, 13. This time I have 76 yeah. equals 70 plus what, Brantley? I've got the 70 part. Now I need the. Seven? I've got the 70 part. Now I need the for 76. is the same as 70 plus 6. 70 plus 6 is 76. Let's do the next one. 38 is 30 plus what, Aiden? 8. 8. 30 plus 8 is 38. You see how you can kind of hear it? There's no need to count on our fingers for questions like this. 64 is 60 plus 4. 79 is 70 plus 9. 76 is 70 plus 6. 38 is 30 plus 8. The last practice we're getting is I'm going to show you um, how to do these kinds of problems. Now look, this one doesn't have a fill in the blank. This one is an equation. Really, they're all equations, 
But anytime we see an equal sign, what we need to be thinking is this side is the same as this side. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to check these equations and see if they're right. Okay? So if they're right, we're going to give it a smiley face. We don't have to change anything. But if they're not right, we're going to do this. A slash through this equal sign. Okay? So let's figure it out. On this side, I have 10 plus 8. London, what's 10 plus 8? 18. So I'm going to write, and I want you to as well, to write 18 on top of 10 plus 8. Then on this side, I have 8 plus 10. Peyton, what's 8 plus 10? What are the same numbers? 18. Is 18 equal to 18? Yes. Yes. So I don't have to change anything. And I'm just going to give a smiley face to show that I approve of this equation. Next, I have 11 plus 7 and 10 plus 9. I want you to solve the 11 plus 7 side. Whatever you need to do to count 11 plus 7. Brantley? 18. 18. Hey, another 18. Then I've got an easier one. 10 plus 9. Micah, what's 10 plus 9? 19. Now, wait a second. Does 18 equal 19? No. Remember, equals means the same. Is this side of the equation the same as this side of the equation? No. This equals 18 and this equals 19. So what am I going to do to this equal sign? Slash it, right? Put a line in the middle. This equation is not equal. Let's do this side. 10 plus 7. What's 10 plus 7, gorgeous? 17. This side doesn't have an addition sign. It's just 16. Oh. Aiden, is 17 equal to 16? Yeah. No, those are two different numbers. So what am I doing to this equal sign? Mm -hmm. Slashing it. 12 plus 5. What did you get, Brantley? My thing. For 12 plus 5? Good job. 12 plus 5 is 17. What about 11 